Well, my story starts um, when I was nine years old. I was in Iran, and um, my dad was in prison for six years. And I couldn't see him uh, in my childhood, and I just saw him once a month, maybe only 15 minutes behind the windows. And um, it was just, you know, hard for a kid to not see his, uh, her dad at that age. And everybody was like, um, making fun of me and saying, oh, you don't have dad, you don't have anybody to protect you. Mm -hmm. But um, my dad, when he was in prison, um, he saw Jesus in his dream. And he said that I will set you free if you repent. Mm. And my dad didn't know uh, what to do, and he didn't know what his repent means. And he went and asked a lot of people what does it mean and what is this um, dream about. Because he didn't believe in God. He said, uh, my God is my own power, and my own power is my God. Mm. So he didn't believe in God. He hated Islam actually mm. because his dad is a sheikh. Mm -hmm. And from the age five, when he was five years old, uh, his dad pushed him to do Islamic uh, rules. And he hated mm. because he saw that in his family, his dad says, he preaches about Islam and says, like, you know, do these things, but he doesn't do it in their home. يعني كان الوعظ أو التقل يعني التعليم بالكلام فقط ولكن ليس بالسلوك في الحياة. Yes, yes. That's why he hated Islam. Mm -hmm. And when he was 12 years old, his dad said, "You have to obey my rules." Or otherwise, I'm going to uh, ask you to leave mm -hmm. the house. Okay. And he left their house uh, in the age of 12. Okay. He grew up in the streets, and um, he, he had like bad life. He almost sleep in streets every day. بأي عمر برناز عرفتي أنت إنه بيك تحول من الإسلام إلى المسيحية وكيف عرفتي؟ On that time, I didn't know until we went to Turkey. Yes. Yes. Um, the, my story actually starts from here, that um, we moved from the city that we were to my dad's own city. And um, over there, suddenly, um, one day I saw that... I can't, I don't have any control in my body. Mm. And I wanted to do something, but I couldn't. Mm. After a week, my mom noticed that uh, something's wrong. Okay. Because I couldn't hold a spoon, I couldn't sleep, because I couldn't control thinking or writing, or I couldn't control my hands. It was just moving, mm. and I didn't want to. If I wanted to walk, I couldn't because I didn't have control in my legs. The way I wanted, I wanted to go or walk, I couldn't because I just didn't have uh, control. It was really hard because um, my friends saw me like that and all my family, they thought that... Uh, I'm just doing these things uh, because I want more attention mm -hmm. or I'm just being, you know, I, I just need attention. But it wasn't like that. We went to doctor after a month. I, I couldn't uh, even walk and my dad was uh, carrying me. Okay. We went to doctor and doctor said, Oh, and sometimes I had really, um, in my heart, I had pain. Okay. Each time I was breathing, I had pain in my uh, heart. So we went to doctor, and doctor said, because you had sore throat, the infection 
got into your body because you didn't take care and you didn't have medicine. So the infection got all to my body and from infection, the veins from my heart to my brain mm. was closed. And that's why I couldn't control. I didn't have any control from my brain. My disease, my um, problems didn't stop because I didn't have any medicine. Mm. And after that, it was going worse by the time. Um, there, on that time, my dad uh, found a church, a Turkish church, and we started to go to church with my dad, me and my dad. My mom was against. My mom was always um, against Christianity, and she said, I lost everything. I'm not going to lose my uh, religion. هل خبرك بيك إنه هو صار مسيحي؟ He did. He told he told us that I saw Jesus. Jesus set me free, and I want to uh, follow him. And my mom said, "No, if you do this, I will divorce you because this is the last thing you can do." بالنسبة لك أنت بريناز شو كان شو كان تردد فعلك شو فهمتي من الموضوع؟ I the first time that my dad said that. Actually, I was happy because um, I saw a change in my dad. My dad always was like um, hard. Mm. He wouldn't smile. He wouldn't, um, you know, care too much. But he was changed. He would smile. He would uh, just just love. كل بنت بتحب تشوف هيدا التغيير ببيا من الأسوي. إلى الحنية. Yes, yes. Um, that's true. <تصفيق> رحت على الكنيسة مع بيك. Yes, we went to church and uh, the moment I went to church, I entered. I felt peace and um, it was different. Outside of church, everybody was looking at me um, as a girl, paralyzed girl. Mm. that can't move, can't do anything, and it's just a piece of meat sitting there. هل كنتي مشلولي؟ I was paralyzed because later on, doctor said, doctor um, actually diagnosed me as MS. Mm. So I had MS too, and MS was starting from my legs, going up, and actually half of my body Uh, was paralyzed, mm. right side of my body, and I couldn't move. My my dad always uh, had to carry me. So, in the church, uh, I felt someone. I felt that somebody's uh, nice to me. Somebody cares about me. They would come and. Just pray for me. They would show love to me, but outside, they were just making fun of me. هل أصدت إنه ال ال المسيحيين المؤمنين داخل الكنيسة كانوا عم يعملوك بمحبة بينما ال المسلمين خارج ال الكنيسة كانوا قصات عليك؟ Yes, there was a big difference between Muslim. And Christianity. كيف ممكن لبنت عمر 14 سنة تفكر بهيدا الوقت لما بتشوف الفرق بين يعني يلي منسمي الكنيسة وتصرفات الناس داخل الكنيسة وتصرفات ناس خارج الكنيسة ما بينتموا للكنيسة. See, at the age of 14, when you're teenager, you need more attention. Hmm. And I didn't have that outside of church. They were just making fun of me and. It it really break broke my heart mm. because I was active. I was I was always um, I always wanted to you know um, be active, mm. but I couldn't. And I wanted to spend time with my brother. I have a um, younger brother, but I couldn't. I wanted to go out and just have fun, but I couldn't. And I wasn't. Uh, I was 
not like other teenagers. So, but in the church, even I was paralyzed and I couldn't do those things. But I, ha- I had peace and I had um, freedom in my heart. That, and I felt so happy because um, people, they were just uh, nice to me and they were playing with me. Um, they pray for me. It was just different. What a تحكي بيرناز عن حرية القلب أو حرية في داخل القلب شو أصدق بهذا الشيء يعني بنت 14 سنة شو بتفهم من موضوع حرية القلب Freedom of heart um, It's like you want to do something you have dream but you can't because of your physical um, problems mm. right. But when you have freedom in your heart it's a different because Even you know you can't do it, but you have peace. Mm. You have hope mm. that one day it will happen. It, it's just the belief that uh, gives you the freedom. Okay. When you believe, when you hope, you have hope, it gives you the freedom. Um, there was a family in church. that they said we are going to take care of your um, medical expenses and we're, we're taking you to the doctor. And when we went to the doctor, um, the doctor said, because of the MS, we can't do anything. But for your heart, we can put you for the surgery and um, we can at least help you breathe normally without pain but there is a like from 100 percent there is only 10 percent that you can leave um, after the surgery because I was so skinny and those drugs that they wanted to give me to put me in sleep mm-hmm. for the surgery it was so strong and if they uh, gave me that medicines, the drugs, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't wake up from, from uh, that surgery. My dad said I will do anything. Uh, we pray, but at the same time I will do anything because I don't want to uh, look back and say, what if I did? Mm-hmm. So they got all tests, they gave me the time for surgery, and um, they said after a month you have to come for the surgery day. And in a month, um, one day from church, a couple of uh, people, they came to our house and they prayed over me for four hours. And after four hours they left. And on that time, my mom wasn't a believer. My mom, but she always prayed that if I see a miracle, I will believe. Mm. And that miracle has to uh, re- relate it to my daughter because that's the only thing I have. She's the only thing in my life that mm. I have. So um, they came, they prayed, they left. And... Um, On that night, I prayed. I said, before I go to sleep, I said, Jesus, I love you. And I know if I die, I will be with you. And even if I don't die, I will live for you. So I, I don't care if you heal me. I just want it. because of my mom, because I want my mom to see the miracle. And I fell asleep. What is the beauty of your life? For a child in your life, it is very amazing. Is it true that you didn't care much about your health as much as you were concerned about your mother to know God as a healer? Yes, because 
I, as I said, I knew that if, even if I die, I will go uh, to Jesus. Mm. So I, I just wanted for my mom. I said, I want her to see the miracle and believe in you. So do it for my mom. And then I fell asleep and um, I saw a dream on that night. I was laying on a bed and the room was white. And suddenly a man walks in with white and shiny face. He came and said, um, do you want to get healed? I said, I don't know. Go ask Jesus. <laughs> and he said, no, I'm asking you, do you want to get healed? I said, yes, because I have pain and uh, I, my, my life is just hard for me. I want to get healed. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay then, be healed. And he gave me a cross uh, on my hand. He put a cross on my hand and left. In the morning when I wake up, I was screaming. I was just, I was so happy. And I called my dad because I couldn't move from bed. So I called my dad. I said, I saw this dream. And it was the day that we were going to uh, do the last tests for the surgery. And my dad said, praise God. And we, we prayed together. And my mom was like, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> all skeptic, making fun. Yes, okay. dreams. I'm checking the mode why I'm making. So um, we went to doctor that day. And the doctor said, I see the results, but let's do it again. Mm. Let's test again. On that day, I, uh, they test me three times. And when the uh, doctor saw the test results, he said, what did you do? Asked my dad, what did you do to this girl? And my dad said, we didn't do anything. And he said, whatever you did, keep doing it. Because I see the results right now. And the results from the last one, it says um, that this girl, even with the surgery, wouldn't leave. But now the last one says her heart is just like a newborn baby and all of the all of the disease that she had it's gone mm -hmm. and her even her ms when we test it mm -hmm. there is a different so there is a hope i mean for the ms and on that time when my mom my mom was with us and when she heard that, she just, she just bowed on her knees and said, I believe in Jesus. Perinaz. يعني في سؤال ملح لازم اسالك اياه واكيد كثير من المشاهدين يلي عم يتابعونا اليوم عم عم يطرحوا هيدا السؤال بينهم وبين نفسهم انه ما فينا نعتبرك انه انت متحوله من الاسلام الى المسيحيه يعني انت جئتي تقريبا من فراغ والدك هو بنفسه ترك البيت المسلم وهو عمره 12 سنه قلتي انت انه عايش في الشارع وبالتالي انت ما تلقيتي ولا اي تعاليم اسلاميه هل بامكانك انه تعتبري نفسك انت يعني متحوله من الاسلام الى المسيحيه People think that when they uh, born, when they born in a family let's say Christian or Muslim they are one of those mm. them but I believe when a child is born doesn't have any religion until uh, he or she decides mm. so I don't think that I was Muslim but I was coming from Muslim background mm -hmm. until I received Jesus I actually read um, Quran when I was in school I was going to Quran courses mm -hmm. and taking classes about uh, Islam and I also read 
the Bible, and when I compare them, I see the different. I see miracles. I see lots of change. That when you compare them、mm. from Islam to Christianity,、uh, you see the different. And our Jesus died and rose again.、Mm. But I don't. I don't want to believe in someone who is dead.、Mm. And I don't want to believe、uh, to the words that dead person says.、Mm. I want. I wanted to believe to. Someone who is alive every day、mm. with, is with me,、mm -hmm. so I can't believe in someone who is dead and tells me I will have eternal life.